So, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to be calling this ep this video Evil Dead Sequel Pitches, because that's basically what it's going to be. So, I watched Evil Dead Rise two entire weeks ago, to the day. I can't stop thinking about the film series. You know, I, I rewatched the first three. I watched the remake for the first time, twice. Right before watching, you know, in the, in the days leading up to watching Evil Dead Rise, I love all five of these movies, and yeah, I, I cannot stop thinking about this, this series. I'm starting to repeat myself, so I'm going to move on. Uh, right. I'm going to be spoiling basically probably every movie that I'm going to bring up, so I will, you know, I will name the title before I get into it. These are horror movie classics, so, you know, you should have already watched them, but if you didn't, I will say the title, and you can, like, yeah, um, I don't know, let's see, I guess, yeah, I, I, I'll hold up an index finger each, yeah, so, yeah, I'll say the title, I'll hold up an index, index finger, say the title, if you didn't watch that movie, you can just mute, skip ahead, until you see me lower my index finger, and then I'll move on to the next one. So, yeah. Uh, some of these could definitely star... Right, and, and I'm definitely spoiling the, the five Evil Dead movies. Some of these could star Beth, Mia, Ash, you know, one or more of those. The, the, and, and you could bring back... I, I'm afraid I forget her name, but the, the youngest... Uh, I'll, I'll have her name momentarily. So, The Evil Dead Rise, because Beth survived, and so did Cassie. You could have Cassie... You know, certainly the relationship between Beth and Cassie is important to Evil Dead Rise. You could easily bring back both of them. So, yeah. Um, the Ring, the 2001 movie, and yes, I'm... I'm afraid I'm going to be going off the American one. I have not watched... The Japanese original. I'd like to. I did watch the second, the you know Ringu two, but but yeah, you know. So basically, you could have the entire movie just spent tracking down the the original, you know, yeah. Find out where where was you know in in that movie. It's where was where did the tape come from? Where what did what originally happened? Kind of thing. Yeah, you could try to find out, you know, what was the thing with the ne Necronomicon. You know, the the first scene could have a short attack, or you could... Yeah, that would probably be best. But uh, hypothetically, you could also just have one of the characters go off one of the other movies. No, tell you what, tell you what. The first scene is an attack. D you know, Deadites completely, d d you know, just... Go, you know, at least one Deadite get, in get incredibly cruel you know, kill some innocent person, and we're left with, you know, the Necronomicon, the Deadite, I don't know, you know, yeah, yeah, Deadites die, so, you know, somehow the Deadite dies, you know, preferably in a really brutal, gnarly fashion, and, you know, the family is like, what happened? We didn't even know about the Necronomicon, and, you know, you have the, you know, scratching nails on, on chalkboard. Uh, you know, Necronomicon. Oh, I know about the Necronomicon. You know, kind of, no, no, obviously the, the, I don't know, Beth, Mia, Ash walk into the, the scene. They, they heard about, you know, they, they saw the, the media coverage. It's like, okay, that's, that's a dead eye. That's the Necronomicon. You know, so they go in and they're like... You know, I've I've dealt with this thing before, but you know, I I keep I I can't seem to completely stop it. So this time I'm gonna investigate, kind of thing. You know, so that would be one right. I I'm these are these are in no particular order. The, the you know any one of these could be. And and by the way, I'm not expecting anybody to actually go go and use one of these ideas. I'm just having fun. You know, but. Yeah, I, I feel like you could you could make these, you know, you could make all of these, you could make just one, you could make none, you could make them in any order you wanted. A Nightmare on Elm Street, Part 2, Freddy's Revenge. So, 
the protagonist would spend the movie trying to fight back against slowly turning into a deadite, being forced to hurt people that the protagonist really cares about. You know, this, I feel like there's something really there. And Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, yes, I know, some people absolutely hate that movie. I think if you watch it knowing, you know, Michael Myers is not in, the, he, you know, Michael Myers is fic is literally fiction in this movie, you know, so. But, yeah, the protagonist spends the movie trying to stop the worldwide spread of deadites. You could maybe even make it the same thing as Halloween 3 with, like, a specific TV signal, you know. I don't know. Would it work if you just read the words on national TV? I've, it's, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. You, you'd probably have to make it a specific TV signal or something. And, right, and, and yeah. Finally, these are not really overall movies. I just have a couple of suggestions for settings. You know, I'm, I, I was really inspired by how well Evil Dead Rise made this cramped L.A. apartment work as an alternative. You know, it's the fifth movie. The first four, three of them are set in a cabin in the woods. Like, I... I love all three of those movies, but I do think it is really time to, to take it out of the woods, you know, go someplace else. And so, yeah, each of these would be for one movie, you know, and let's see, yeah, an abandoned mall, which could either have a small group of deadites, as we're used to, or you could go full Dawn of the Dead if, if you wanted. I, I don't know if it would be as effective. I feel like the fact that we know the deadite... Like, in each of these, it's, um, let's see, the only time that we don't know, yeah, yeah, there are some in Army of Darkness, and then you, of course, have the opening kill of the remake. Other than that, we know the people before they become deadites, which makes it all the harder to, you know, it, it makes it so, so disturbing to see good people or, you know, certainly decent people, not complete monsters, be turned into these cruel things, you know. So so I don't know if, like, just a ton of them, I, I'm not sure that, I, I feel like that might be, you know, what's what's that thing about, like, um, eventually, uh, I forget the, the term, but, like, eventually it stops being as interesting if, if there's a lot of it. Yeah. Um, and the... But, I don't know, you know, maybe you could make it work. Let's see, uh, yeah, a train car? I don't know if it would be better if it was, like, stationary and abandoned, or if I think that it would be great to have it in motion, maybe even moving at speed over the course of the movie, gradually gaining in speed to where you realize if the protagonist wants any chance of survival, not only do they have to stop the deadites in, in the train car itself, they have to find a way to get off the train. It's not going to be able to be stopped, so they have to find some place they can jump off. You know, I, I really think that would would be really cool. Uh, you know, so far, it's basically been the, the this thing of um, they are, you know, they're in a, a completely stationary place, but they're, they're trapped there. I think it could be cool for them to be trapped in something that was legitimately... Like, it's dangerous to stay here even if you defeat all the deadites kind of thing, you know. So, so the, the, and, and, yeah, you know, you could very easily, like, logically, yeah, you know, one of the deadites gets to the, the control panel and breaks it. Because that's the kind of thing a deadite would do, you know, they're, they're cruel, they like to torment their victims. So, yeah, you know, you could, you could easily have that kind of thing to, to, to be clear, I'm if yeah, if we're talking train moving at high speed, I'm not saying like fill the movie with characters. I'd still I, th I think it would still be great to have just a small group of of people. So maybe it's like maybe the train it's like a line that doesn't get a huge amount of use. So there's just a couple of people, you know, and and yeah, then I think it. A, a Evil Dead movie could work on a plane. 
I don't think it should just be like a passenger plane. It would basically have to be like an airborne small set of rooms or something. You know, it, I, I don't think it would be super interesting if it's just regular passenger plane kind of thing. But yeah, separate rooms so where you can block a room and there's a deadite on the other side. And it's like, okay, I, he might not be able to get through. What if he gets into like the electrical something or other, you know, just, uh, yeah. Because Deadites don't really have much of a, you know, they don't care if they die because it's it's a spirit possessing, you know. They don't need, they, they can they can possess anyone, they, they don't care how many, you know, human beings die to, to, yeah. Yes, I do think they could make it work with one set on a cruise ship. I know you're getting Speed 2 flashbacks, but keep in mind that movie was about, like, you know, can they, like, the, the, um, you know, can they stop the, 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 was that a cruise liner? I forget, but, like, you know, it's, the, it's kind of a slow ship boat thing, you know, can they stop that before it crashes into something? I think if you have deadites on, you know, you don't, it's, it's the, it's the isolation, you know, you, you, basically, I do think it's crucial to have an element of physical isolation, they can't get to a place where they can get help from a lot of people, I don't think, you know, to be, I, I haven't watched the, the show yet, I don't know how that one does with, with that, please no spoilers, I, I probably will watch the show, I, I think, you know, maybe they could do, like, a submarine, like, a, again, it would have to be big, not, not just, like, with the one hallway and a couple of small, you know, maybe an underwater base, so, you know, you could have, like, yeah, maybe they block the door from deadites, but then a deadite goes over and starts banging on the glass, and, you know, oh, crap, is that gonna let in water, so they have to open the door and fight the deadite, you know, stuff like that. Maybe they could do a story about the writing of the Necronomicon. Maybe one of the people responsible for writing it, you know, like, set way, way back. You know, maybe one of the people responsible for writing it realizes how awful it is. He has to try to destroy the book as the world is being destroyed around him because of spells from the book. Not only the one we're used to that has people be possessed. Maybe the movie ends with one of the authors burying the book, realize that's where it was found in one of the other movies. And let's see, and, you know, and, and, yeah, like, if, if you do the destroy the world thing, it would basically, yeah, yeah, if it's like the fall of that civilization, you know, and realize, that's why that civilization fell, it's because of the Necronomicon, you know, kind of thing, and, yeah, you know, hundreds of years pass, but the Necronomicon is patient. You could also do Hellraiser 1, where one of the characters is a deadite, and in the place of Frank, another character tries to protect Frank the deadite, feeding him souls, worry they'll get discovered, maybe by, you know, Beth, Mia, Ash, you know, people who would try to kill deadites, so we kind of flip the perspective. You could also do Hellraiser 2 have one of the Necronomicons open a portal, humans find themselves inside the world that is accessed by spells in the book, and they have to get out of this world. This would also allow you to do creatures with less limitations than we've seen in the other movies. Not that those limitations have not led to great stuff, but I think, it, you know, we, in order to keep it interesting, gotta go new places, like Evil Dead Rise does. And, uh, you know, I mean, Army of Darkness, one of the books tries to suck in Ash, and it's, it, it's just a goofy joke, but you could, I, I feel like you could, you could go there, you know. So, so yeah, that's what I got. Um, you know, if you think these are terrible, you can, you can flame in the comments, that's fine. But, yeah, I just, I, I, two weeks, I've not been able to stop thinking of this movie. And it's not like I haven't watched any movies in the interim, you know, so, so just, yeah. Um, yeah, um. Let's let's keep the soul swallowing going is what I'm trying to say.